Okay, and here we are with another video tutorial. On this occasion, we're going to be saving a WAV file from GarageBand. We're going to save that file into Dropbox. Okay. Now, um, I, I want to say thank you, everybody that watched my videos, and thank you for sharing and giving likes to my video. Remember to subscribe and also to hit the notification uh, little bell so that way you get updates on my videos or you get notified whenever I upload a video which is very it's very 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 like almost every day I upload very busy uploading videos anyway just want to say thank you all the people who are following me and and subscribing and stuff okay so let's get right into it this is garage band already open let me close it again so we got it right here garage band on the corner okay the first thing we need to verify is that we're gonna be saving a 16-bit Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. We're going to be saving a 16-bit um, WAV file. Okay? It could be 24 or 16, but on this, on this uh, demo, what's going on? Why are you closing? Hello? Okay. What's going on? I don't know. Using AirPlay, you may notice delay. Okay okay so let's hit play just to verify everything is good okay working okay so now let's hit over here on this wrench over here for settings so we're gonna reach for settings and we're gonna go go down here advanced okay and now here 24 bit if you want to save as 24 as optional on this uh, video tutorial we're going to be saving as 16 bit okay 24 bit gives you a better uh, much headroom which is a better quality or, or a stronger file I believe um, then the thing is that then you're going to have to after the file being exported, you're going to have to like convert it to 16-bit if you need 16-bit, right? If you don't need 16-bit, then I recommend you to export as 24. But on this video tutorial, let's export to 16-bit. So you got to des deselect here. The 24, deselect, and that's it. Okay, so now we're going to go into songs, my songs. Okay. This is the one we're going to be exporting. Okay, this is the info right here. It's telling you that the file is called My Song and is as a GarageBand project right here. You can see it says project right over here. Right, and it's dot band. So that means it's from GarageBand. It's an audio file, but we need to convert it or send it export it so it could be created as a WAV file because we need to send the WAV file to to Dropbox so from there we could send it to our computer or send it to somebody through email or whatever okay so here we go after long press right you're gonna get this menu here so go share song okay right here song and you can see right here on compressed wave 44.1 kilohertz 16 bit okay that's the info right there okay so that's good so we're gonna go here and click share right over here on the top corner okay so we're gonna share uh, copy to Dropbox we're gonna we're gonna share it into Dropbox so we're gonna hit or we're gonna tap here Dropbox that's the icon right here if you don't see it 
you just go all the way, scroll all the way to the right, and you see you're gonna see more. And here you could enable it. If you don't have a Dropbox um, account, just create one. It's completely free. You got some some space, so you can save your files, and then um, download the app on your iOS, right? And then it's gonna appear here automatically. You don't have to do anything else. And then only you have to just select it here. So you're just enabling it, okay? So right here, we good, Dropbox. So if you scroll here, right there, there you go. Dropbox, so we're gonna save it. So it's exporting to Dropbox, I believe. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Then on, on Dropbox, we could just uh, play the file, make sure that's the file that we that we want. Okay. So this here, hmm, I don't know. Post message, save destination, news, choose. Okay. So I don't know what happened here. Okay, cancel. Okay, we're gonna have to do it again because it didn't do it, obviously. Let me double check. Okay, let me see. There, let's go to files. So, this is the file, the project. So we go here, we go to amuse. Nope, it's not there. Okay, so we didn't do it correctly. Well, I didn't do it correctly. <laughs> Sorry about that. So here we are. Let's do it again. Share. Okay, song. It's good. Okay, share. Hmm. Save to file. Let's see. Save to Dropbox. Will that work? I don't know. Let's see. So I use this one first. Let's see this one save to Dropbox. <clears throat> so let's see what happens now. After it's saved on Dropbox, then you can share it. You can send it to Amuse. You can share it with somebody else through email, you know. And it is good because it gives you the option that you can hear the file to, to whoever you send it to. You can hear the file. Okay, so here we are. We're going to save it into Amuse. Perfect. That worked. Okay. If you want to choose a different folder, there you are. If not, then this is the one that we want to save it to. Choose good save. Uploading to Dropbox. Let's wait for it. A few seconds. And almost done. Okay, it's saved. Now let's take a look. Oops, sorry. And there you go. There it is. Dropbox right here. So we go to Amuse. Oh, sorry, not that one. We go to Amuse, and there it is. We click on it, and it's supposed to play, I believe. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, there was a delay on, on the sound, but there you go. That's the file. Okay, so here it is. And you want to see the info? Let me see if you have anything else. Copy link. Okay, so that way you copy the link so you can send it. Or if you want to see the info right here. My song is a WAV file, okay, right here, kind WAV, waveform audio, that's the size, 4.6 megabyte. And what we want to do now is rename the file. I think we have the option here, there you go. We rename. So we go test. And there you have it. There it is, done. And there you go. Okay. So here from Dropbox, you can send it wherever you want. 
you share it through email or send it to i don't know or just store it there you know if you want to leave it there so remember dropbox is is a free um storage on on internet it's secure it's safe i've been using dropbox for years you know no problem very good you can share your files you could create the link there okay i guess just create the link right here with G, with uh with your email um yeah that's it okay go here yeah go open it directly right here so this is the application this is the app right here the file there you go okay so you can hear it also on dropbox and that's a good thing because when you send the file people if if you send it and people can hear it instantly then most likely they're not gonna you know they're not gonna be interested on the file but if you can send it through Dropbox and they could hear it on, you know, without needing to download anything, that's a good thing, you know. So that way they choose if they want to keep the file or, if, you know, they just discard. If they could hear it, then, you know, it's a good thing. They decide right there. So that's a good thing. You don't, they don't need to, the person who you're going to send it to, they don't need to download the file. They just... You just hear it on Dropbox online, and then they choose if they want to download to their computer. Okay. And from here, remember, you could share with a link to email. You go email. You can send it to, a, to an email. Or you could create a link, and you could post it online. And then they could download the file because they got the link. Okay. So it, Dropbox is good, you know, it's free. So there you go. And that's the tutorial I wanted to show. Remember, 16-bit, if you want to send to a Muse, a Muse is a <clears throat> distribution, um, digital distribution platform that they send to all the digital outlets. If you want your music, you need to make an account and, you know, <clears throat> make an account an account register and just follow the guidelines it's right here and there you go right there. there you go these are my songs that I have uploaded so far okay All right, and you can make a little bit of money. You know, it's like a passive income, you know, so it's good. All right, so thank you for watching the video and see you guys next time.